Welcome everyone to the first video on the Cybernaut channel. For today's video, we're going to cover some news on the new RTX 3000 GPUs and we're also going to be discussing AMD's new processors and GPUs. If you didn't already know, the new RTX 3000 GPUs bring ray tracing to the mainstream market with low price tags compared to last gen. By the way, ray tracing is an advanced rendering technique that is equipped with all NVIDIA cards with the prefix RTX. And um, this ray tracing thing allows um, more shadows and uh, it just makes the game look way better. Uh, so, these new GPUs bring more power. So, ray tracing brings more power to the gamer and makes the world more realistic. The price tag is what really made these GPUs a hit. So last year, the Turing architecture um, GPUs, um, their first RTX GPUs, were priced at its flagship card, $1,200. Just take a moment to swallow. $1,200 is a whole lot of money. And this year, their flagship GPU is $800. So let that sink in for a while. $1,200? down to 800 and not only that you get twice the performance of the RTX 28 so all in all it's a better value and uh, yeah I'm really excited for this launch even though I don't even have the money for it but I have to say that AIB's GPUs are looking really cool I especially like the new ASUS ROG Strix cards these GPUs have a cool RGB strip on the front and it has a nice design choice. The ROG card has things like the max contact plate and the three axial tech fans that really cool down the GPU and it allows overclocking for enthusiasts. Another card I'm really excited for is the Aorus Master Cards. They have a cool OLED panel that can display temperature, usage in percent, and even your favorite gifts. This can be useful for overclockers and people who want their PC to look unique there's no way, better way to make your PC look unique than a cool gift. The 3080s and 3090s just came out and basically it was ridden with bots and scalpers. These bots took out the entire stock of the RTX 3080s and their 3090s. These companies are originally made up for uh, sneaker releases because they're very exclusive but people are now using it for graphics cards. So these bots are so fast and they really like destroyed this launch. Like this was one of the worst launches for a graphics card. I hope Nvidia fixes this. Luckily, AMD is starting to talk about their new GPUs and processors. Zen 3 processors are codenamed Vermeer and the RDNA 2 GPUs were um, announced last week. Invented of October 8th for Zen 3 and October 20th for RDNA 2, their new architecture. Recently, AMD showed us off a 3D model in Fortnite, which I have a clip up here. Notice it still has a 
those two amin connectors on the front which means that it doesn't have the 3a pin and and it doesn't have like that 12 pin connector for nvidia or you need that like adapter that's like put together by duct tape ah, so disgusting but luckily they just have the standard 2a pin um, power so uh it's just just a standard but keep in mind that we don't even know which model this is this could be their lowest end and their highest end could have like three of those eight pins like nvidia so yeah and then if you see the heatsink the rest of the cards just the, the standard stuff you know three fans they're not like doing the flow through design like nvidia with like one fan on the bottom and one one fan on the top so yeah I don't really like it. I hope the AIBs come up with something that um, really looks good, or else, aesthetic wise, this is gonna be a fail for AMD. Last year, AMD blew everyone away with the announcement of the Zen 2 architecture, which brought PCIe 4.0 and more cores into a regular consumer processor. So, this was a really big leap last year. PCIe 4.0 was unheard of. And uh, I think this year, for their Zen 3 processors, they're going to be utilizing PCIe 4.0 and they're going to be um, partnering up with um, Seagate, Micron, all these storage companies and really going to be enhancing PCIe 4.0 to the next level. So, I think that's another thing they will do this year. Another thing that um, I think that AMD will do is they'll probably... Um, put more cores in it and they'll higher the clock speeds because the um, Ryzen 9 3950X didn't have too good of the clock speeds with like um, 3.6 to 4.4 I believe I'm not sure but still compared to Intel which had 5.3 gigahertz is crazy compared to the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X Given you do get more cores and more threads, but still, I think AMD can push it this year. So, yeah. Also, their new Thread Ripple lineup, which came out last year for enthusiast level um, PC builders. Also, last year they announced their new th their th new Thread Rippers, which gave 64 cores and 120 threads to consumers, but with an extreme price tag over a thousand dollars. Isn't that crazy? This year, I predict Zen 3 innovation will go even further with higher speeds and more cores at a lower price tag than Zen 2. The Threadripper lineup will probably also have their prices go down as well. In addition, their new RDNA 2 GPUs will probably target a more demanding market share with higher end GPUs than last generation with their lower end GPUs. These new GPUs will probably be more competent in terms of price tag because Nvidia's RTX 3070 has a great value. To be faster than the 2080 Ti, that $1,200 card I was talking to you about um, earlier, and that and the 3070 is faster than that, and it's literally like half the lower than half the price at $500. So this fall will be an exciting week for gamers and the future of technology. I hope this helped you out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.